Welcome to the scoop. We've got no time to waste today, so let's get stuck in some gaming news. First up, some next-gen graphics glimpses. This has to be the right way. Epic Games recently showed off a graphics demo running live on the upcoming PlayStation 5. They explained how the new Unreal Engine 5 will enable things like a dynamic lighting system known as Lumen. As well as a nanite, which refers to the way details, textures, and triangles are rendered. Oh, so many triangles! <laughs> oh, we also heard about other kinds of motion enhancements and audio tech for replicating real world spatial sound. Sounds impressive. But as always, the proof will be in the playing when the PS5 eventually releases. <laughs> also in the news this week, Terraria's Journey's End update has now been released. And with it comes word from the developers, ReLogic, the game is finally complete. This last major update includes a new journey mode, difficulty settings, new items and bosses, and improvements of existing features. Working on the game has been a so-called labour of love for the devs, who now look to their next project, whatever that may be. Oh, moving on now, attention Whovians! The studio behind Doctor Who, The Edge of Time VR, has announced a sequel. It's due in 2021 and will be available for PC, PlayStation, Xbox and Switch, rather than VR. But there's no word yet on whether it will be a next-gen title or not. This is in addition to a new Doctor Who mobile game that's in the works. The three games are said to form a trilogy of Doctor Who game experiences. Which reminds me, I really should organise a video catch-up with my Dalek buddies. <laughs> Oh, they always exterminate this and exterminate that. Oh, we are the superior beings. Yeah, Greg, you are the superior being. Oh, you're a good friend. And finally, after rumours swirled earlier this year, Nintendo has confirmed the upcoming release of a new Paper Mario game. Paper Mario The Origami King is due out in July and will be the first Paper Mario title on the Switch. In it, a so-called origami plot unfolds as a villain called King Ollie captures Peach's castle. <laughs> Paper Mario and team must then embark on a crafty quest to save Peach and the world from a foldy fate. <laughs> the announcement trailer even included a Metroid Easter egg at the end. What could this mean? Mm. Now, who's up for an extra scoop? <laughs> Although PS4 game Dreams does have a Music Maker program, creator Levi Niha has made a so-called pretty good synth, a working in-game synthesizer. That sounds pretty interesting. It functions as a controllable three oscillator synth and step sequencer, so you can create a digital opus of your own. Oh, soundscapes! Ooh. Yeah. Nice. And that's it for the scoop this week. Until next time, see you in the scoopersphere! <laughs> see you in the scoopersphere. Could that be my sign off catchphrase? I like it, but I don't love it. Hmm, I should focus test it. Do some A-B testing.